Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, I'm still on my weekend. It's actually the same day I shot the last video. Uh, but as you recall in the last video we shot, uh, we identified which of the six colors uh, was going to be used uh, in a bathroom. And today we're going to start working on that. We're going to go buy the paint and start prepping the room uh, for painting. So let's get going. All right, so I'm back from Home Depot, and in addition to getting paint, I actually got a couple of plants because when they uh, when they had to trench under my house, they had to tear out a couple of plants that were there. Now, one of them they think they may have been able to save, but you know there was at least two of them, and they were pretty good sized plants. So, I got a couple of these uh, Texas lilacs, and they're supposed to get really big, and they have pretty flowers, and uh, that's one of the things I've noticed around this house is. Uh, they weren't really into blooming plants that much. Uh, so um, I've always liked plants that flower really nice. And I've also really liked plants that are attractive to bees and butterflies and stuff like that. And uh, these are definitely fall into that category. So it'll take a while, but these will get big, maybe as tall as 15 feet tall, and they will be good replacements for what was there. So yeah, we did that too. And I also got a new garden hose for the backyard. The garden hose that was here just wasn't long enough for the job and it ended up, uh, you know, I couldn't reach about half of the yard with it. So I got a nice big long heavy duty 100 foot long hose that can literally reach anywhere in this backyard. So that was a good move too. So anyway, let's get going to the painting. That's what this is all about, right? So we are back in the bathroom again. So um, I'm going to basically just pull everything off the wall that can come off the wall. That's going to be the light fixtures and the fan cover and the air conditioning vent. I'll be able to take the, the light fixture off the wall, uh, towel racks. I'm going to pull the door down, our door off the wall, and then we're going to cover up the, uh, cover up the floor and cover up uh, as much of the stonework as we can here. And the mirror, because like I said before, this isn't this is like glued onto the wall, so there's no way we're going to be able to take that off without breaking it. So we're going to rip this place apart the way uh, only I know how to do it, and uh, we could get going from there. So now that I have most of the fixtures off here, including the uh, the uh, towel racks and stuff like that, I'm noticing that they kind of did a sloppy job putting some of that stuff in. This one looks like they had a big, a long hole there and they patched it with something and then drilled into that. So I'm just going to clean all that out. I'm going to remove all of these uh, bad anchors. This one was, you know, wasn't driven very well. And in fact, I think they ended up reaming out this hole. So they had a screw here and here, which isn't the way uh, that's supposed to be done. This one's probably in decent shape, but I'm going to just remove that and do that all over again. Looks like they use like caulking compound to, to attach part of that. And then it's kind of the same over here. These are just kind of ugly and not very well done. So like I said, I'm just going to pull all that out, uh, patch all those holes up, and we're going to start from brand new when we uh, put this back together. All right, yeah, so there is a big variety of different types of anchors used in here. And like I said, a couple of them over here were just driven into the drywall and they weren't held in by anything. So I pulled all those out. Now let's just kind of patch the holes up and I think I think this will look good. I think I'm going to go over it with a little bit of sandpaper because this is another one of those cases where they painted right up to the line rather than removing the, the fittings and doing things right. And so what you end up with is a little bit of ridge of where the paint is all the way around where the uh, where all the fittings used to be. So I want to just kind of sand that off just to get rid of it. Yeah, so you can see it there too. So we'll do a deal with that too, and then we're gonna patch up those holes. I mean, you may recall a minute ago, I was talking about this hole, uh, where I said that there weren't even any drywall anchors in here. And I was trying to figure out why they would do that when they, you know, actually did kind of the right thing uh, just about everywhere else. And I realized when they drilled in here to put the uh, drywall anchor, I think they hit a stud back there, and I think that's what happened. They decided at that point they're not going to put a drywall anchor and just went into the uh, into the stud behind it. Now the problem is the screws that are holding these things in aren't very long, and you got a little less than about, well, about a half inch thick of drywall. So at that point you only got, 
you know, a couple of a couple of rows of teeth cutting into that. So at very least, they probably should have put a longer screw in there if they were going to tie onto the drywall anchor. But what I'll do is I'll patch that up and we'll move it. We'll move the towel rack maybe a little bit higher, a little bit over, uh, so that we're not going into the stud. And then we'll miss all that. It won't be a problem and uh, never even know it was there. All right, so I've already cleaned the holes up pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to gonna press some uh, patching compound into the holes and this is going to take a couple of shots at it because this is a pretty big hole. In fact, I'll probably just seeing how much I use just filling that one hole. I might have to make some more. But right now I'm not looking to make it smooth. I'm kind of looking to push it deep in there because what I want to do is I want to get, I want to fill up that thing all the way to the bottom. Because that's going to be the you know the, the more more material you push in there, uh, the stronger it's going to, the the stronger the patch will be. I usually just use my fingers. I know some people like uh, using uh, you know a putty knife or something like that, but especially when you have a real kind of you know very textured uh, finish here. It's hard, you know, the putty knife doesn't do a very good job because basically it just kind of averages the high point wherever that is. And I'm not looking right now to be neat. I'm looking to kind of just fill in the hole and make it actually a little bit higher than it's supposed to be. That way when I come in later on and uh, clean it up, you know, I'll have, have a little bit of raw material to pull off the surface before I start making an indent again. I intentionally mix this stuff a little bit thick uh, because sometimes if you mix it too thin, especially on big holes like this, it's just, it's hard to fill. You know, the downside to mixing it, uh, thick like this is that it's going to dry faster. And so you gotta, you gotta get on, get on, on board and really get it going fast here. Cause otherwise, uh, your, your stuff will dry on you and then you'll have to go, you know, chisel it out of whatever it is you're mixing it in and, uh, remix it again so you can, uh, finish the job. Okay, I think that looks pretty good for a first coat on that. Now we'll just go finish the rest of the holes. All right, so I got this entire room taken apart. I've taken the light out of here so that uh, so I've got to provide another uh, source of light. I got all the panels off of the, uh, the air conditioner, the vent fan, and the uh, low V light over the bathtub. Uh, we've got basically a rough patch job on all the holes around here. We'll have to go clean this up again a little bit at the end, but we're not going to paint until tomorrow. So uh, this will have plenty of time to dry and we'll have plenty of time to get it cleaned up. Now the next thing I got to do, like I said, I got all the face plates off. Now I'm going to go around everything that I don't want to get paint on and tape it up. It's going to take a lot of tape on this one because there's all sorts of stuff I couldn't take down. All right, so uh, a couple hours later, I've got this room basically ready to paint right now. I got everything I don't want to have paint on covered up. Covered up the, uh, the light switches, covered up the cabinets, covered up all the stonework, uh, covered up every inch of the floor. I'm actually gonna, I think, uh, take the tank off the back of the toilet just so I can get behind it. You know, I don't like it when you, when you can look behind the tank of a toilet and see a different color on the wall, so. I think I'll take the tank off, but we'll probably end up leaving the bowl where it is because that's out of the way and I can avoid that. We'll just cover that up. But I think starting tomorrow, we are ready to paint in here. So we're going to start by uh, starting with the ceiling first because uh, I always work top to bottom. That way if you if you drip, uh, you're dripping on a wall that you're going to gonna be painting over anyway. So uh, tune in next time and uh, we'll continue with this project. Until then, thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.